course, I'm very aware of the genius drummer that is Ellis DiPario. Strangely enough, though, I've never reacted to his stuff for this channel, which seems kind of odd. I can't really believe that's happened, but it's true. I guess I just kind of binge watch his stuff here and there when, when I see it comes out. Here's one I've not seen, though. He's done a cover of In the End by Linkin Park. Now, Ellis DiPario is like a machine gun on drums, which this song by Linkin Park, I don't think is going to work with that. So I kind of have no idea what he's going to do. I'm a bit nervous. He's going to go fucking mad. Um, but let's see. Maybe he's going to be creative with it. I saw one of my favorite covers he ever did that I've seen was Everyone Wants to Rule the World. That one? Is that what it's called? Let me look that up. Yeah, Tears for Fears. Everybody Wants to Rule the World. That cover was brilliant. It wasn't machine gunning all over the place. It was a nice kind of flair. Let's see what he does with this, I mean, legendary Linkin Park song. Okay. It is three and a half minutes long. So it sounds like it's probably just the song itself. Uh, let's check it out. And go. Okay, that makes you think he's gonna <laughs> blitz this song. Sheesh. All right, let's have some fun. Very nice. It starts with one thing. I don't know why. Okay, it's good though. It's got groove. The truck's just mental. So he's closed my eye with his left foot, actually, as well as his. Very cool. But he's opening it on the downbeat for the... Hello. Okay, he's alternating to the floor to kick. Nice doubles. Check this out. It's busier, but the central groove is there. It's just jamming. That's a little flam. Mm. Okay, it's not nuts. It's serving the song well. Nice. Choking with the same hand as hitting that similar wood. Tricky. This is good, he's, he's committing to the beat. He could have, in the second half of that verse, busy it up for interest. There it goes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So his left foot's still doing the hi-hat, his right alternating with the floor song for that. Okay, a little triplet fill in the kicks. Okay, nice triplets. That's a tasty symbol, that little tight stack. I like that he's leaving space in this, it's not insane. Nice. Cross stick. Okay. He's just jamming this. Lovely, simple, just right, left, right, left on the snare. Eight notes, think. I like that, that last fill there. Kind of would go into a series of triplets. Well, I'm pleasantly surprised. I did worry it was just gonna go like absolute blast beat throughout. Okay. What a tune. Well, unexpected, but a joy. I've seen him do way more complicated drumming. I've seen him do more creative displacement of beats over a traditional song like the tears for Fears, tears <laughs> excuse me the tears for fears song definitely go watch that on youtube if you're a drummer especially watch because he just shifts the beat off what you'd expect it to be but comes back in it's fucking glorious so kind of like that song he found ways to elevate this he kept it simple he kept all the original grooves within there 
but just add a little tasty additional bits and pieces with additional floor to kick pedal you know, moments and towards the end of the verses. Um, you know, that hi-hat closed thing, the Lincoln Park drummer didn't have one of those things. So I, didn't, I was confused, it looked like it was hitting the hi-hat itself, but it's this like little tiny screwed tight stack symbol, <coughs> which I need to get one. I mean, I don't think they exist in the electronic world, but that was fucking cool. A couple of tasty fills in there where things got a little bit busier. Uh, yeah, I, I'm surprised. It was, it looked like he was just essentially playing along with the song that he loved and adding a few little flares here and there, but not going to the nth degree of constructing an insanely complex or totally creatively interesting version of the drums and I'm sure there are videos of him that have far fewer views that are much more effort laden and creative um, but hey it's Linkin Park of course it's gonna get a ton of views and you, you know it was really it was great to revisit that song and see what a different drummer might do with it you know that was kind of like a studio drummer performance of it it wasn't like show off for YouTube and I as a drummer really loved that you know, serving the song, adding some flair, doing something slightly different. It's great. What a fucking, what a champ. If you want to connect with other people who like this kind of music as well, I've got a free Discord server you can join. Link is in the description. If you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon. If you want to let me know that you like the video, you can do so. If you want to see more videos in the future, you can do so as well. Have a wonderful day and maybe I'll see you in another video.